Good morning everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and today I'm just doing a just because layout. Um, I am using a butterfly from Scraptastical Creations which is from a new set that she has that's called KISS which means keep it simple set so there's no bears, it's just kind of like themed um, images or just some images put together. You can see those at um, scraptasticalcreations.com and I wanted to just do a spring layout today and I was going to use the Silhouette Studio but I couldn't resist using this cute butterfly. So you could find a butterfly on the Silhouette Studio site or in your Cricut cartridges to create this layout if you like. For the paper that I'm using today is the Daydream Doodle set from the Paper Studio which is the stuff, one of the stacks that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'm using the this paper and then also this blue, the green, and the pink. So I'm working them all into my layout today. So what we're starting with is that 12 by 12 pattern cardstock from that set. And then I have some green grass that I'm going to go ahead and add to my layout. And I just use this Fisker's Punch. It's a grass punch and then just trim down my cardstock to the size that I needed. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I am covering up the love, which I don't know, I need a cloud paper and this is what I had available. So I do have another piece, so I could use it for something else, but I'm going to go ahead and carry on with our layout. So this is about... I don't know how to use this mat to measure. <laughs> I think I cut it at three and a quarter inches. This mat is different than my other mat. Okay, so we're covering up the love. And then I also have this one. And I believe it goes. It goes this way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and adhere this down as well. Okay, so we're just going to put it at the end. like that. And then we have, trying to figure out how to actually put it all together. I have two photo mats that I'm going to be using today. These are 3 by 5 A 3 by 5 picture would fit inside this and still show some of the border. So those are going to go right about there. And my butterflies are going to go over here. Like so. I don't really like their eyes, so I may go over it with black marker and just leave it. I was trying to I don't know, give them eyes, but I don't really like it. So oh, I'm going to take them off before I adhere them. It just doesn't look right. So I'm just going over my white gel pen with a black micron pen to cover that. And we're just going to leave them like that. Okay, so then we have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the top title down so that I can adhere, adhere the middle of my page together. I have another light over here and it's in the way. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our zig pro... I guess we can try to use the zip dry glue. It was acting a little bit better. And this is just a, a font that I cut from my computer.
And I like to do that because then I don't have to rely on a cartridge or any specific font. I can just cut whatever I want, what I'm in the mood for, whatever. And adding an offset, um, like a shadow, is really easy. But on this one, I was going to add a shadow, but I decided to go just with the font without a shadow. I think it will turn out perfect. Okay, so there's that part. So we can now adhere the photo mat. Two photo mats down. Okay. I'm going to try not. not going to do in that corner because I don't, I want you to be able to, I want to be able to slide a picture in there and I don't want it to get taped. Okay, it's actually opposite of what I was thinking but we'll roll with it. So then what I did is I took my circle punch, I gotta find it in one second. And I created my own button wannabe. <laughs> okay, so I took the one inch circle punch and I punched the green car sack that I have in the butterfly three times. Then I adhered, I glued them together to make them a little bit thicker. And then I ran, well, I punched some holes in, in it with my paper piercer. And then I ran some yellow twine through it. And that's going to be my little button. And I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so that goes there. And then, remember the chipboard bundle that I found? The All Seasons chipboard bundle? And I opened that up to get the the spring set out of it. I, hope you can, I don't know how you can see it with a glare, but that's what I used for my spring. So it's going to say, Welcome at the top and then spring is going to go down here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get that adhered. Down. And I'm using my zip dry glue. Excuse my stomach, it's growling. I don't know, I just, I saw these and I love them. I don't know why, but maybe because it will make my scrapbooking easier, I'm not sure, but I like them. And they're thick, so it doesn't look like a sticker. I think that's pretty straight. Okay, so we're just going to kind of let that sit there so that it can dry and then we're just going to adhere in the middle of our butterflies. And then once they're glued to the page, we can fluff them and bring their wings up so that it shows a little bit of dimension. Okay. So we're just going to kind of press them down, let them adhere. 
and then we'll work with them. And then I have some more buttons that we're going to just put over here in the corner. Remember how I think it was like this. Just to fill up the space. And I'm not going to add any twine or ribbon or anything to it. I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. And then that is going to be the completed layout for today. So I thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.